Let's learn how to tune your flute. All right, so there's a lot of different factors that you need to check to make sure that you're playing in tune. Um, one is gonna be to make sure that your head joint is lined up correctly with the body of your flute. So you want the, um, the embouchure hole right here to be in line with your first key. If it's not in line with the first key, a lot of times you're gonna find that you're either too sharp or too flat. So just, you can either trace your finger or take a visual look and make sure that you are in line um, with that first key. The next thing to know is that most flutes are not meant to be pushed all the way into the body. Uh, the head joint's not meant to be pushed all the way into the body of the flute. So they're actually designed so that part of the sort of um, more raw looking metal is visible. Um, maybe it's not as pretty as you would like, but it's, it's supposed to be there. So you don't push your flute head joint all the way in. That's gonna make you out of tune. So you want to be sure that you're out just a bit. And usually what I do when I find a reliable place where usually um, I'm in tune is you can take a pencil and make a mark on your head joint and then you can always find that right spot and you're not having to guess all the time. So you'll check um, when you're putting your head joint together with the body of the flute, then you'll just line it up on that pencil mark, make sure that the embouchure hole is in line with the key and then you're in a really good place for the most part. If you um, are using a tuner, which you all should be, um, and it tells you that you're sharp, then you want to pull out the head joint just a little bit. So try just little bitty increments until you find the right amount. And also remember that temperature is going to affect things. So if it's super hot in, your, in the room you're playing in, you're gonna be sharp. If it's super cold, you're gonna be flat. So if you're sharp, go ahead and pull out that head joint. The way that I remember is I think about a pencil sharpener. If the pencil is sharp, I pull the pencil out of the pencil sharpener, right? Because it doesn't need to be sharpened anymore. Same with the flute head joint. If it's sharp, pull it out. If you find that you're flat, maybe your room is really cold, maybe the instrument is really cold, then you'll push in, right? So I just think of the opposite of sharp. I don't have a tricky, um, clever way to remember pushing in um, for flatness. But if it's flat, then you push the head joint in. Usually it's not gonna be pushed in again all the way because flutes, um, modern flutes are not designed to be used that way. Um, they've got a little bit more space on the head joint. So, um, but that's the general guideline. Sharp, pull the head joint out. Um, flat, push the head joint in. Make sure that you are lined up so that your embouchure hole is in line with your first key here. Um, yeah, and that should help out. All right, so try that. Let me know if you have questions.